When it comes to gardening, there really is nothing new under the sun. You head down to your local garden centre, pick out the plant you want, then go home and pop it in the ground. Only thing is, what happens if you don't want to put your plant in the ground? Hi, uh, my name's Ed Warburton. I'm the Director of Greenwall Australia and I build vertical gardens for a living. Greenwall can work anywhere, on any vertical space, indoors and out. Uh, it's just a fantastic way to use space. My parents were always keen gardeners and I guess something I learned by osmosis from them. But it wasn't until later on in life, um, whilst um, finishing off an arts degree, I was working part time for a landscaper and I found a great passion for plants and design. In 2005 I set up my own company and travelled over to France and saw some incredible green walls by a guy called Patrick Blanc uh, in Paris. And one special one was uh, at the Pershing Hall and you walk off the Champs-Élysées into this beautiful boutique hotel and walk into the courtyard to see this huge green wall just looking like a jungle in the middle of Paris and it was really impressive and that got me really enthused about the whole idea of vertical gardening. The first commercial green wall I installed was at the Gazebo Wine Garden in King's Cross. I remember at the time a few other people were off the job and said it couldn't be done and a lot of people were saying a lot of negative things to me. You're crazy, it's a pipe dream and proving people wrong was <laughs> was a great feeling. I love being able to create something new. I mean each green wall really is a work of art. It's a, it's a canvas and the plants are a, a palette. I see them becoming something ubiquitous in the building industry that um, you know, architects, builders and developers will see that by using green walls as green space they actually increase the floor space so we can fit more plants and people in a smaller area than we previously have and that's good for everyone.